Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's try something a little bit more challenging. Here we have two statements that need to be turned into algebraic expressions. The first one says, Mary is four times the age Bob was five years ago. So how do we express the age of Mary? Well, we need to find a way to express the age of Bob today. And so let's use the variable x to do that. So let x equal the age of Bob today. Since we're going to compare Mary's age to the age of Bob the way it was five years ago, we now have to find a way to express Bob's age five years ago. So we can subtract five from x, that gives us the age of Bob five years ago. x minus five is equal to the age of Bob five years ago. Now we can compare Mary's age to that. It says that Mary is four times the age Bob was five years ago, and if this is the age that Bob was five years ago, then four times this would be the current age of Mary. So four times x minus five equals the age of Mary. And that is how we find algebraic expressions that are appropriate to the sentences we see in algebra. We see this kind of thing more often when we do uh, word problems in algebra. The next one states, there are three times as many dimes as there are nickels and four more quarters than there are dimes. Write the number of coins. So we want to find the type of coin that we have the least. We know that we have more dimes than nickels and we have more quarters than dimes. So the number of nickels is the smallest number of coins that we have. So we're going to let x equal the number of nickels. Now we're going to compare dimes to nickels. So there are three times as many dimes as there are nickels. Since there's x number of nickels, then three times as many, that means 3x equals the number of dimes. And finally, the number of quarters. We're told that there are four more quarters than there are dimes. If this is the number of dimes, then four more plus four would give us the number of quarters. So 3x plus four equals the number of quarters. So you can see that we can systematically work in steps to find the expression we're looking for. And it's always a good idea to let the unknown variable be the least quantity that we can start with. Since Bob was younger than Mary, we let x equal the age of Bob, the age of Bob today. Then we adjusted it for the age of Bob five years ago. And then Mary was four times that age of Bob four year, uh, five years ago. Same here, we recognize that the number of nickels was the few, fewest number of coins that we had. So let x be that smallest number. Three times x was three times as many times as nickels. And four more than that is the number of quarters. And that's how we build up our expressions in algebra. That's what we're going to have to do when we do word problems in algebra. That's how it's done.